Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today we have another fabulous oracle card reading because we actually have a solar eclipse on the 22nd, uh, 26th of February actually in Pisces. Now Pisces governs emotions, so get ready for a turbulent and a very emotive kind of week. I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight from our angels. But to get a full astrological overview as to what to expect for this week, jump on over to astroladder.com. They have everything to let you know, um, probably in more detail. Um, Lada herself is an astrologist and I watch her channel religiously and I really, really love her content. Anyway, with that being said, let's shuffle today's cards to see what signs the universe, the angels, divine source, whatever you want to call it, God is going to give to us today for this week ahead because it's going to be an interesting week, which means that we just need to go with the flow. So if you haven't already watched my video from my Law of Attraction series entitled The Astonishing Power of Emotions, watch that video. It's going to help you be able to go with the flow and I speak about in detail what exactly that means. So picture you're on a, like in a life raft or, you know, you're going down some rapids. You're not going to head upstream. So you're going to be swimming against the current because think about it. If you're constantly going upstream, you're going to get burnt out. You're going to be exhausted and you need to take a big, big sleep after that. It's not something that's sustainable and it's not something you can do long term. Oh my gosh, why am I getting any cards? I feel like recently the angels have been testing me as I'm becoming more intuitive and I always rely on cards falling out, but they're trying to teach me to know when to stop. But I don't feel confident, confident enough to do that yet for you guys. I can practice by myself when there's no cameras here. Um, yeah, I think they're taking their time to find the perfect card. All right, what else is going on this week? Besides these turbulent energies in Pisces that you're going to be experiencing today, it's also, a no uh, not today, well this week, actually, you're going to be experiencing it probably for the next two weeks. What's happening? They're really testing me. Okay, one and two. I'm going to put that one down, but I'm just going to get clarity. Oh, I'll just do that one for now. Anyway, so it's all about releasing things that are no longer serving you so you can make way for the new, which when we come to an end of a cycle, it's very, um, it's emotional. Um, guess, get this. Yesterday or the day before, I sold my iPad. Now, I have been using my iPad to film my channel for the past almost three years. It's three years next month since I started my YouTube channel. And... I made my first videos on that on my iPad and I got to a point where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna let this go because I know that my new camera equipment is going to come. And I found it secondhand and I'm just waiting for the perfect time to purchase it. And you know, when I, <laughs> as I was leaving to go and meet the lady to give her the iPad, not give her, sell her the iPad, I was getting a bit teary and I was like, oh my goodness. And then I was thinking about sending love and gratitude to that situation. And I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, universe, for helping me start my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, universe, for giving me this technology as a platform because I used to edit my videos on my iPad as well as, um, as film them on that. And it was really, I don't know, it was just monumental to me. And I was like, okay, that's going, something new is coming. It's only something small, but it was just an example to help you. Anyway, holy moly, today's first card is perfect timing. <laughs> That's a beautiful card. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You know what I see in that? Green, which is the heart chakra, which is all about self-love. Okay, now is the perfect moment for you to act upon your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. 
isn't she just beautiful? It's like she's living in the moment and she's surrounded by music. So maybe that could be a sign for you to be receptive to music that you're listening to. I <laughs> am going through the stage now where I'm not listening to just any music. Peter and I will flick through like um, Spotify playlists and if the music is like a breakup song, we're like, next, next, you're lowering my vibration. So I'm choosing songs that are positive and uplifting, but it also could mean that maybe you're getting signs from lyrics in a song. Um, she's really beautiful and she's just like, she, she's just gone with the flow. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna play like no one can hear me. I'm gonna dance around. You know, I'm gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna be presentable. And I'm just gonna be dressing as if I'm like coming into this new chapter because this is exciting. And yesterday I bought this new top because I was so sick of wearing clothes that were baggy. And I was like, yeah, I've got this beautiful figure. I'm gonna start showing it off more. So it was like, oh, because I had a job interview yesterday and another one today. And it was just like, I'm gonna dress the part. So I was like, oh, if I've done hair and makeup, I may as well film a YouTube video because it's very rare that I have uh, makeup on, but I feel like I need to be making more of an effort to be, you know, stepping into my power to be like, this is me. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this next chapter. All right, wow. Off to a great start already. So we're going to be getting clarity on perfect timing. And whatever pops up in your head as I'm reading this, that's what your intuition or your inner guidance or the source divine, whatever you want to call it, is, oh wow. Um, I don't think I've ever had this guide before. Is, um, I lost track because this card just came up. Change in direction. We're not going the same way that we've been going for the past nine years. Things are changing. And it's like you're asking for directions. It's like, okay, I'm gonna ask for help here because this is something new that I've never done before. And, and look, he's got glasses on. He's like, to me, that means like a, an authority. Like you're asking someone who is in tune with whatever you're doing or someone who has knowledge in whatever area that you're going to. And it's like, you've got this little baby. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like a nurturing, motherly, that's what I just see, like a motherly kind of nurturing instinct. Okay, let's, oh, I didn't even read. I didn't even read the one from the perfect timing from the book, but hey, let's just read the change in direction one first. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. Oh, that's why the baby was there. You are protected now in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. I have had this deck of cards for like years and I have never ever pulled this card. Let's get some clarity on what that means. This is so exciting. I love oracle readings. Um, I can't even, what's the alphabet? A, B, C, D. Here, change in direction. This card, are you ready for it, my loves? This card signifies that you've had a change of heart that has altered the direction of your life in a positive way. Your old ways of living no longer interest you. <laughs> yep. And you find yourself, oh goodness. And you find your, what? Hold on. And you'll find yourself avoiding friends and pastimes that previously attracted you. You deserve a lifestyle and a career that will better fit your new interests and passions. The angels are guiding you through this time of transition. The law of attraction ensures that you'll manifest wonderful new opportunities and relationships. Now, the additional means for this card is you're starting a new phase of your life. The birth of new projects is in the works. Pregnancy, birth, or adoption of a child is possible. A new element in your life is a blessing, even if it doesn't make sense to you right now. Oh my God, how exciting is that? So you're birthing new, new like you, you, oh, it's just amazing, like birthing new ideas. Let's go back to what perfect timing means in this book to make sure I'm on the right track. Baby, on the right track. Baby, I was born the 
this way. Um, perfect timing. This card means that you need to take certain steps before your prayers can be fully answered. The angels say that now is the perfect time to act. They will guide you along the way. Sometimes it's not so important how we approach a situation, but that we put energy, action, and intention into manifesting what we desire. Once we take the first step in the direction of our desired outcome, the universe then gives us additional help. That's beautiful. The additional meanings for that card is take action now. The situation will work out provided that you do not delay. Make a decision. Any blocks in the past would become were because the timing wasn't yet right. Isn't that amazing? I know so many people at the moment or well, around me that have got this new direction. So many people I know are starting new career, careers. Um, things that may necessarily haven't worked out in the past, but now the timing and the alignment is all focusing perfectly. I highly recommend that you check out my Law of Attraction series. I talk about how to manifest your desires. And in particular, that video I mentioned before, this astonishing power of emotions, which helps you feel the emotions associated with what you are manifesting. I also help you release physical and emotional blockages in that one. I talk about visualization. And you need to do some meditation so you can get very clear and precise about exactly what you want. Okay, let's get some clarity on these two fabulous cards, perfect timing and change in direction. I'm heating up right now. I just turned the air conditioning off because it was way too hot. I mean, <laughs> no, no, it was way too cold, but then also the aircon makes a lot of noise. Anyway, if it gets too hot, I'm just gonna put it back on and just go with the flow. Okay, so let's get some, wow. <gasps> Look what it is! The heart chakra! Oh my god! I told you I saw the heart chakra from this card because green is the color associated with the heart chakra. Make sure you watch my heart chakra meditation. It is fabulous! So fabulous! And I'm working with this amazing, talented musician called Sonic Yogi and his tracks are amazing and I got permission to use them in my videos. So listen to that. Heart chakra, ooh, look at that. It's just like, what is she? It's like she's got her eyes focused on the prize and she's, but she's not fully dressed yet. It's like she still has, she looks beautiful, but I feel like she's not like jumping up and down, but she's like, I can do this. I can do this, I can do this because I love who I am and I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's enough. I love who I am. Infinite love infiltrates into my life in bounties of energy. Okay, let me just read that card. But she's also, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. But she's also um, like standing in a very beautiful place. Like she's in mother nature. Look, she's in mother nature, but she also is like on like a beautiful steps of like somewhere truly beautiful and she's like looking down at it going, I can achieve. This. It's kind of like when someone offers you an opportunity and you kind of like for a moment have the self doubts and you're like, oh, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah, you couldn't do that in a previous life because you didn't have the experiences and you didn't have the knowing and you weren't doing your self love practices back then. And now you have been doing them for ages. You're eating, um, plant-based foods in their whole nat natural state, which is giving you clear insight into divine guidance and also clarity. It's just, okay, let's read this one again. <laughs> Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. That's why I always say love heals all blockages. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart. As we stand by with perfect protection and guidance, it's, it's, everything's gonna be fine. I just got goosebumps just then. It's like everything's gonna be okay. Oh, I just got that song. That's the way it's gonna be, little darling. You go riding on the horses, yeah, yeah. Who sings that song? My sister and I used to sing that when we were kids. And if you fall, I pick you up, pick you. Yeah, that's so beautiful. 
It's just like if something happens and, you know, because we were told astrologically this week is very turbulent energies, it's like the angels are here to pick you up and be like, honey, it's okay. We're going downstream now. It's okay. You're not going upstream and it's not going to be like a make or break kind of thing now. Holy crap, I love this. Okay. Um, heart chakra. Um, 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 um. I can't think, I get so, I can't remember the alphabet when I'm doing this because I'm getting so excited. H-E, okay. The angels gave you this card because the answer to your question rests within your heart. The more that you open your heart, the more love, joy, and peace you will find. You can open your heart chakra by asking the angels to send their healing energy, by visualizing your heart surrounded by pink light, by inhaling the fragrances of pink roses. Oh, that's a nice one. By holding or wearing rose quartz crystals, sorted. Um, and by focusing on love. Additional meanings, send light and love to your heart chakra. Take very good care of your cardio cardiovascular health through exercise and healthy eating. Mm -hmm. That's self-love practices right there. Oh, this is another beautiful one. A departed loved one who passed on from a heart condition is saying, hello, I love you. Have a heart to heart discussion. Wow, this is so beautiful. So we realize that it's the perfect time for you to, to act on whatever you want to act. And now that it's happened, you're moving in a new direction and it is to do with the matter of the heart. And it's just to let you know that um, everything is divinely orchestrated and it is divine time and you are supported from the angels and whatever decision that you're going to now make, or maybe you've started making it, but you never had the momentum behind you, that you're on the right path. And this is exactly what you need. This is the start that you have been looking for for the past nine years. It's a start that you wish you had last year, but last year was all about learning the lessons so that you could have an awareness and a better understanding of what you want and what you deserve. <sighs> this is beautiful. Let's just get one more. I'm getting a message to get one from the tarot cards. I never really use these ones because I don't, I kind of use the tarot cards for like a 10 card spread for like a more in depth one, but I feel the need to just get one card. All right, universe, can we please have, I just got to get the cards out. Clarity on perfect timing from my beautiful MK Love fam for change in direction and for our heart chakra. As we go into the week, whoa, I just want, is that one card? They always fly. What does this one say? <gasps> what is this one? Eight of air. It says, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Holy moly. Sorry, but this crystal is like sticking to me. Oh, this way. <laughs> Okay, I need to read this one because I'm not too familiar with this deck. Maybe that's what was holding you back. You felt like you were trapped, but that you actually weren't trapped. It was just you just making up stuff in your head. Wow. Eight of air. You needn't stay in your present situation if you are unhappy. Although you may feel that there's no way out, look again. There are plenty of possibilities for freeing yourself from the situation in a healthy and harmonious way. First though, you must feel more confident about your abilities. Believe in yourself and keep your thoughts positive right now. That's also linked to the video, The Astonishing Power of Emotions. The key to freedom and success at this time is to see the truth of the situation and then to act with faith. Because you gotta have faith, 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 if I could touch your body. Okay, additional meanings. Confusion, feeling helpless, the tendency to see oneself as a victim, Ooh, being afraid to take action. It's okay, my loves. There is so much beauty in this situation and I am so excited for you. This is going to be an incredible new chapter for you. Just go with the flow. If you're having little difficulties, check out my Law of Attraction series. 
In particular, I want you to check out the video, The Astonishing Power of Emotions. So important. Start visualizing what you want, start feeling the emotions associated with it. I'm actually gonna make another video for this week, which is all about your emotional guidance system to, to let you know that whatever you're feeling and where that is on the emotional scale and how close you are to manifesting it because there is a lot involved to the law of attraction. There were no videos last week because I spent the whole week raising my vibration and as a result, I actually manifested a job on a private luxurious island, um, which just blew my socks off. And I was like, okay, this is kind of nice. So I was trying to, well, I did keep my vibration, well, I am, choose my correct words, keeping my vibration up very high because when you're in a state of alignment, that's when you feel really good and that's when you're like bubbly and just all crazy like I am right now, you are able to manifest your desires quicker, so much quicker. Anyways, my love, I explained it all in the Law of Attraction series. Make sure you make time for your self-love practices. Meditate so you can have conscious awareness with your inner self and work out what is the source energy trying to tell you because obviously you weren't listening before. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous, no, I know that you will have a fabulous week. Remember, continue to make better choices. I will see you next episode. Also, before I go, make sure you subscribe videos every Tuesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, unless I need time off. <laughs> Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, let me know what it is that this new chapter or new direction that you're going in, because I'm sure you've got some amazing awareness about it right now. Thank you so much. I love you. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm just like talking 50 miles an hour and I'm sweating under my armpits. Gotta go. Bye.